So who am I? I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom who knows that the very notion that learning about slavery or redlining or systemic racism somehow means that children are being taught to feel bad or hate themselves because they are white is absolute nonsense. My mom taught me at a very young age that Christianity and faith was about being part of a community, about recognizing our privilege and blessings and doing what we can to be of service to others, especially people who are marginalized, targeted, and who had less, often unfairly. And I am the mom of Michigan State Senator Mallory McMorrow, whose April 19th speech on the Senate floor, referencing the very issues we are facing here, went viral worldwide, hiding behind a deceptive moniker and bastardizing Christianity to fit your agenda does not change the fact that you are cruel and you are intolerant. I would like to address this board and the Moms for Liberty in tandem. One is the epitome of a tyrannical minority, while the other has made the choice to aid and abet that tyranny. No amount of prayer will absolve the stench of your actions. I can respect your right to make choices for your family. What I cannot respect is your apparent belief that you have the right to impose those choices on others. As a proud mom of four, who was very involved in school, let me assure you that neither I nor one of you is remotely qualified to dictate what all students learn, read, or say. <clears throat> Your own children will grow up, go out into the world and interact with a myriad of people different from them. And many will come to see this ugly campaign for what it truly is, it would behoove all of you to look inward and ask yourselves, what am I so afraid of? Uncomfortable discussions? Books that might give people a better understanding of history or life? Are you afraid of those not like you, the other? You need to realize that your intolerance and cruelty are fast to becoming that other, as opposed to those you try so hard to marginalize and vilify. You can delude yourselves into thinking that you are fighting a noble cause. There is nothing noble about hurting kids. I learned that service was far more important than performative nonsense like being seen in the same pew every Sunday or writing Christian in your Twitter bio and using that as a shield to target and marginalize already marginalized people. No child alive today is responsible for slavery. No one in this room is responsible for slavery. But each and every single one of us bears responsibility for writing the next chapter of history. Each and every single one of us decides what happens next and how we respond to history and the world around us. We are not responsible for the past. We also cannot change the past. We can't pretend that it didn't happen or deny people their very right to exist. I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom. I want my daughter to know that she is loved, supported, and seen for whoever she becomes. I want her to be curious, empathetic, and kind. People who are different are not the reason that our roads are in bad shape after decades of disinvestment or the, that healthcare costs are too high or that teachers are leaving the profession. I want every child in this state to feel seen, heard, and supported, not marginalized and targeted because they are not straight, white, and Christian. We cannot let hateful people tell you otherwise to scapegoat and deflect from the fact that they are not doing anything to fix the real issues that impact people's lives. And I know that hate will only win if people like me stand by and let it happen. So I want to be very clear right now. Call me whatever you want. I hope you brought in a few dollars. I hope it made you sleep good last night. I know who I am. I know what faith and service means and what it calls for in this moment. We will not let hate win. We will not let hate win.